I went to the student and I was like, oh, like, um, I'm so sorry, do you mind doing the client? Yeah. He's running a bit late, but um, do you mind? It's a male. She was like, oh, I have to be somewhere. Is he good looking? I was like, yeah, he's hot. Okay, that's fine. <laughs> <laughs> Hello there. Hello here. I haven't seen you before. Do you come here often? Yeah, you know, every once in a blue moon. <laughs> More often than you want to. <laughs> actually, this is a I'm new. here every day at seven o'clock in the morning. <laughs> I actually am, to be fair. I'm okay, so this is the lovely Michaela and hey the most amazing Rocco back at it again. It's been a while and I'm a bit tanned as you can see probably didn't have to say anything <laughs> yeah thanks you just had to come in because i'm so pale <laughs> that's why they called me just to see the the, the skin tone difference yeah. this is a skin type one <laughs> yeah I'm but i'm like a, a three yeah oh look it's going away though yeah that's because you peeled a lot you did burn a little bit let's not you know let's branch it out there don't make eyes if you look, just were really tanned you want to talk about yeah, just, so obviously i was away as you can see by the <laughs> lovely tan how were you while i was away did you miss me mm, not really no well i didn't miss you so mm. no I'm joking i did miss you to be fair i just miss you like sometimes bubby stuff like hello mickey Woo -woo! that's not me that is really you. No. Well, we need to go back to the CCTV then and get that then so everyone can see that's what you do. Wiki woo woo! No, I'm very professional. No, actually, to be fair, as we're talking about that subject, actually, Whoa. Rocco did leave me in the dark. Um, Hello, so darkness, normally... my old friend. <laughs> Come to talk to you again. <laughs> what is that? I don't even know what that is. What? Hello, darkness, my old friend. Anyway, <laughs> maybe it's the way that she sang it, maybe I don't know what the hell it is. Um, no, but as she was away, there was a course that you normally teach alongside Sophia as well, which is the one day advanced ah, skin treatment yeah. course. And I remember literally bricking it. I was thinking, oh my god. Did you god. do a nervous poo? I didn't actually, no. Mm. I was very proud of myself actually. Um, all I did was literally took the laptop home, looked back at your video. I know we did. I know we did. You put the laptop in front of you and you were pretending you were talking to the students. You were asking questions and then you were answering them by yourself. I didn't actually this time around. I didn't at all. <laughs> on one, I was like, I've got this. Tap, tap on the shoulder. Okay, I'm not that old. <laughs> Jesus, you're <laughs> flicking off dust. <laughs> but no, I was very, very proud of myself, actually. And... Um, yeah, did you, I don't it, even did you find it different? Because you've been doing the um, the diploma in aesthetics for a long time. And a lot of people are like, oh, I've done level five. I'm just going to get the new products and I'm going to use them. But then I always say, nah, no, it's a completely different thing. It's really different. I mean, how in-depth we go with the anatomy and physiology firstly. In-depth with product knowledge mm. as well. Percentages, why we're using it. What ingredients we use in there. Um, and then obviously as well then going into the demos because normally obviously we would normally get the students on the first day I do a demo and then they go straight into doing the treatment yeah. whereas with this one we teach them three um, different facials and then the rest is then automatically sent over to them as a step by step um, <laughs> but no it's very different to the level five yes I feel like some, some students find it a bit Mm. Overwhelming. Yeah. Yeah. Especially in the morning, like doing like theory. Because, because it's a lot, and I mean, I know, I it's know, it's like, a lot. I mean, don't get me wrong. The level five, obviously, it does take me quite a while because I'm going through skin diseases, disorders, mm. the Hydra PowerPoint presentation, um, and then demo and everything like that. And then obviously the students as well asking questions. It does take time, but yeah, I didn't realize actually how much of pretty much a lot of it is theory based um, and yep. it is quite intense. You see them kind of looking and being like, uh, can you just wait a minute, so what did you just say again? And I'm like, okay, fine. And then you're just like going again. But um, yeah, it's usually like if, if I start, cause this one takes me quite a long time. Sometimes it takes me like two hours just, mm. just talking like nonstop, just blurring out info, yeah. info, info. Yeah. And then by 12 o'clock I look around and everyone's like, 
I'm like, is everything clear? Do you have any questions? Yeah. Uh, when's our lunch break? <laughs> yeah, yeah. I'm like, uh, it's only 12. Yeah. Uh, three demos. <laughs> yeah, no, I think, but also I just think it's great because I think, as, especially when we, we're going into more depth about pigmentation and how it's how it's come about and stuff a lot of sh a lot of the students that I've taught they're like that makes so much sense why I've got it the DNA going into detail about that they're like oh my god all those time my parents back then there wasn't such a thing as putting sunblock on yeah. it was literally just go out like you'll be fine and then obviously over time how much has actually damaged their skin and caused like signs of aging mm. Um, and then obviously them getting to go and do the skin scanner, seeing that process as well, um, is also a nice little add-on as well, I think, um, for them to kind of... But I feel like that's why, especially for the for the advanced one with the skincare, it's very... Well, it's, it's essential that you do have that massive mm. theory behind it. Because I feel like, I don't know, for, for other treatments, we don't really do it. It's a bit like, oh, I'm, I'm going to come in... I'll do, I'll do the course, but um, I don't really know what's behind it. Mm -hmm. And then I, f I feel like if you don't know what's behind it or what's the, the, the cause, then you can't really effectively mm -hmm. treat it. Because yeah. it's, it's good and well for me to come to you and say, oh, here's a chemical pill, use it with a 1mm roller. But then why am I saying that? I didn't just like make this stuff up because I like it. Mm. Um, but a lot of students, and I, I can tell by their faces, like whenever I'm talking about this stuff, they're just like, what is that? Yeah. I'm like, how can you not know this? And then still be confident in carrying out carrying any out treatment. treatment. Yeah. But I can't, I can't really blame them. A lot of it is like self, self-study and like doing your own research. Um, but it is, it's, it's very, very important just to know skin in general. I think especially as well where a lot of the students come into us as well, they want to go down the skin route. And it's kind yeah. of like, you need to know your stuff because like we've spoken about in other like, podcasts and stuff, nowadays a lot of clients know their stuff. So it's kind of like, you know, you need to make sure that, you know, you're on the ball with it. You know what ingredients are in the products, what they're actually doing, why we're yep. using it. Um, but I do think it does definitely help them actually doing the level five first and then doing the one day oh, yeah, advanced because again definitely, they already definitely. have worked with the machine itself so they kind of know it's just obviously working now with newer our newer skincare products um, but even with that I mean if it was the same skincare range I would still go through the same things mm -hmm. because when you're a beginner I can't put all of that info on you and say learn it because we get experienced girls coming to us and when we give them that theory they'll be like whoa mm, what was that yeah. about mm. so imagine you know nothing before that and someone gives you all that like, no way i'm just going to give up because <laughs> it's, it's, it's a lot, a lot. Yeah, yeah yeah um do how to keep them engaged um depends on the person it would mm. either be with young girls that are just not interested in general uh, I would just be extremely strict with them. Mm -hmm. I would just turn around and I'm like, this is not the time yeah. or the place. Or otherwise this course isn't for you. Like you need to take this stuff seriously. Because yeah. at the end of the day is, yes, you're getting a qualification out of this, but I'm not giving you that qualification just like that. Like you've got to work mm. for it. Like I need to know that you fully understood what... Kind of, it kind of depends on the person. Sometimes they just say, oh, my mom and dad send me, whatever. I'm like, oh, okay, that's fine. You don't really have much interest in this, but I'm just going to discipline you. Yeah. Otherwise, you're out the door. Like, yeah. It's as simple as that because you're disrupting everyone else. Yeah. And they just shut up quickly. Yeah. But there's other ones that, you know, if you're doing three demos... Oh, sorry. If you're, <laughs> <laughs> if you're doing three demos and you're just sitting there and like, oh... Then I just kind of... I'll crack a joke or say, like, fun facts or whatever. Yeah. Just to keep them entertained. Engaged. Like, oh, oh yeah. really? I never knew that. Oh, wow. I'll, I'll yeah. be like, oh, you can use this probe uh, this way or that way. Yeah. Or I'll just be doing LED. And I'm like, okay, pop quiz. Uh, why, why does every specific color do a different thing? What's that based on? And I was like, what? 
I'm like, yeah, go on pop quiz. It's like, it's five o'clock. I've, I've taught you everything, you should know this. Yeah. But I'm doing like a pop quiz while I'm doing the, the treatment. Everyone's mm -hmm. like, oh, let me get my textbook. Let, let me get my yeah. notebook. I was like, yeah. no, 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 no. What's the answer? And they were just like, so that's like how I can keep them yeah. engaged. I think it's true. I think it does, it is a lot, it does reflect a lot on them themselves. And I think it's because we work with so many different students from different yeah. walks of life as well. It's making it personal to them as well. So it's kind of like trying to engage them. So like some people like diagrams, they love, like you said, like fun facts, or it's great when you see yeah, them engaging with each other. I'm like, right, like, girls, let's yeah. not cheat now, please, okay? I've yeah, asked yeah, you, yeah, you yeah, need yeah. to answer it. Not the one next to you, okay? I know you're in, I, I, you can say, like, I know it, I know it. I'm like, can you calm down? Yeah. I didn't ask you, kind of thing. And then the girl's like, oh, well, let her know. I'm like, no, 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 I've asked you, you answer it. But I think sometimes it's making it a little bit more fun. Like for me, for instance, like, you know, we have the group chat. So I'm kind of like, listen, girls, the group chats ain't to be asking how your weekend's getting on or like you're not meeting up to go for a couple of drinks. It's literally pure to do with your before and after photos. If you're going to be running late, you need to let me know or just message me privately. And then they start like giggling or laughing. Or I think sometimes it's using facts as well but sometimes um experiences that we've gone through oh yeah, yeah so yeah. you know kind of like if you're kind of like oh the reason why we do this is because of this and i'll give you and i'll give you a story time who's ready for a story time they're like oh yeah, yeah i am and they're all sitting edge of their feet some of them are laughing some of them cracking joke like an example i remembered having a student and joe with microneedling it's normal for the face to go really pink yeah she went down obviously when we were upstairs obviously now we've this is a new room, as you can tell by the background and everything. But when we used to be upstairs, I used to walk up and down. She walked and she went, oh, my God. Oh, my God. And I'm like, oh, my God. <laughs> Shut up. Like, get out of the room. Like, what are you doing? And then the client on the bed just went ping and was like, <laughs> Oh no, but obviously the client herself is knows. Everything okay? Yeah, the client herself knows she's going to be red raw, but she doesn't need commentary from a student, like either just about to go out and tuck into her like lunch. Oh You're just like, oh my god, think. Or like some of them are like, I haven't had my coffee this morning, and I'm like, well, tomorrow you better make sure you do because you've got free clients to do. You know, so it's kind of like making it like fun and interactive. But I like think you you're, said, you're it's quite different. good with like the 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 fun yeah. stuff. Yeah. But I, can't, I will be strict as well. There's like, come on, at the end of the day, you're doing a course. Like, yeah. I think as well, it's like, oh, yes, it's Revival mm. Academy, but it's also us as the teachers that's taught them. So I would never want someone to be like, uh, who's taught you? Because that's not great. It's kind of like, <laughs> uh, don't just say my name because it <laughs> definitely weren't me. That's not great. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's not great. I'd be like, mm, that was not me, okay? <laughs> If you look at the manual or presentation or whatever mm. we say, it's like, oh, diabetes, contraindications. And they're like, oh, I'm not going to touch anyone with diabetes. I'm like, well, I've done it. Yeah. They're like, oh, what do you mean? Yeah. I've done it. Yeah. They're like, hemophilia. No, oh, I can't touch them. I'm like, well, I've done it. Yeah. She had this, 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 this. And I'm telling like the full story. I'm like, oh, my God. Yeah. Like obviously, there's ways of saying things to clients as well. You're not going to be like, <laughs> dirty thing in your eye. Like, look at that puffy puff Oh, my God. Eye. Like, get out and, like, start spraying them with dental spray. You know, kind of like, Ch -ch -ch. Get, get away, stay back, you know, kind of thing. And then sometimes they're sitting there like, like the students are proper love. I'm like, no, because do you know what? I'm saying this and you're probably thinking, no, there's no way someone does that. You will be surprised that there will be some students that would be like, oh, that's disgusting. Like, no, like, why would you come with your face like that for? Or like, your face is so swollen. Like, how the hell do you think I'm going to be able to do your face? I'm like, there's ways of saying it, girl. So obviously how we would say it would be like, as I can see from your consultation form, Obviously, you have to take, there's a medical, um, there's a contraindication towards the treatment that now we won't be able to go ahead with the treatment. However, just go to your doctor, <coughs> your GP, so get it sorted out. They'll put you on some antibiotics. <laughs> and then once it's done, you can then come back and we'll happily um, treat you, no problem at all. But sometimes, yeah, I'm kind of like, don't be going like, Ugh! and then start like going like, oh, that's disgusting. How could this girl come in with this face? And I'm thinking, please. Or sometimes you're a bit cautious, like, and I'm a bit like, 
it's fine. Or I've told them already and they can say, well, yeah, it's fine, you can do the treatment. Yeah, but it's got, I said, I've just told you it's fine. The client is staring at us. Just sit down, please, <laughs> yeah. and not make such a big deal out of it. Ooh, like, the ladies, like, they may think that it's not eczema. They might think, oh, my God, it's dermatitis, highly contagious. I can't touch their face. I'm like, you need to know what you can and what you can't. And, again, that comes with practice, but also going away and doing your own, like, education side of things as well. They can't expect to, but, yeah, no, it's funny. I can't. But skin diseases, every time I, I teach or show it, everyone's like, oh, how does that happen? I think, yeah. you know, the worst one is the um, herpes on the face. Oh, everyone's yes. Everyone's like, oh, my God. Herpes also. But do you, know, do you know what I use it for? I usually use it as an example if, uh, if someone has a cold sore and they do, like, microneedling. I'm like, if you do the microneedling, they touch the cold sore and then they touch where you've done the microneedling, that's what happens. You know, like... Contraindication, I'm not touching them. I'm like, yeah, I mean, it's not as major as that. Yeah. But I, sometimes I just like to scare them off. Or sometimes it's like, you're the ones, the last one, I swear it's like nits, which I'm so sure most Do of us has what? gone Every, through. Everyone, I've, I've seen, I've, I've had clients with, with nits before. Unfortunately, you have to kind of turn them away. Mm. Um, but students just go into this shock. They start, they're, they're, they're like itching at their scalp. I'm like, don't worry, no one's got nits here. Like, you don't need to be. But, but no, I get they how just it kind is, of freeze. Get, if, if, yeah. they, if they see the client, and obviously, like, sometimes it's very obvious mm. that they have it. Yeah. Just keep it cool. Just say, you know, I'm sorry, there's an issue going on. We can't. <laughs> <laughs> sorry, there's something just crawling around in your hair. <laughs> sorry, I've just seen something jump. We have to say <laughs> our goodbyes, okay? <laughs> <laughs> but that's the one that I love the most because I'm like, listen, I'm sure we've all gone through. I remember my mum combing my hair, yeah, I know, like you know, tapping the thing with all these thing. eggs and things but like that. But some people, for whatever go, reason, yeah. with students, students just go into a yeah. shock, like they're paralyzed. They yeah. can't speak. Yeah. They can't do anything. They're just like, that, but how do we know? I said, obviously, you're not going to sit there with a comb and start but combing they're moving, their like, hair. You can see it. But you can see, like, and I always use an example. I remember at school, primary school. I went to go sit next to, I'm not going to name her just in case she may not, she, she might not even watch it, but anyway, let's just be on the safe side here. And I remember sitting I next to her you. in primary school. <laughs> <laughs> and I remember I just saw this thing just crawling in her head and I was like, oh. and then you'll just see yourself just going back and you're like, whoa, Keller, like you need to stop doing this right now. So I remember telling I get like, it if you're like five. I was like, miss, you know, because obviously it wasn't when I was a teenager, obviously it was when I was in primary school. I was like, Miss, miss, sorry, but thing he's got nits. Okay, just go to the other table, just sit there. And then at the end of, like, at the end when it was time to, like, ring the bell, time to go home, everyone then got sent letters saying, guys, there's nits going around. Oh, I do felt you know so what? bad. Snitches but, get stitches. Yeah, but you know what? I'm protecting the people. I'm here with you guys oh, protecting. Oh, yeah, superhero. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Nit warmer. Yeah. <laughs> I'm like all like covered from head to toe. <laughs> got my comb in one hand. <laughs> I've, got a, I've got a fish net in the other one. <laughs> <laughs> they actually, they were checking us for nits in, in school. But I have actually had a client where I, I could see like... Really? It was, see, I've it was never like, had that. I've it was like a zoo. They were just like jumping up and down, honestly. But how do people... I don't understand because nah, you can feel that. Nah, listen. She had like thick, massive hair. And this thing oh. was going on, right? And I'm just... Yeah. Like, I'm looking at her in the eyes and I'm looking up. And it's like, bing, 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 <laughs> bing, bing. I'm like, oh, Wow. <laughs> Have you trained them? I'm like, what the hell? <laughs> it's like it's like they like doing trampolining for the Olympics. <laughs> anyway, and I'm just like, like I'm really sorry, but this is a contraindication, and I explained like what it was, yeah, and how you know, yeah, that came about, and yeah. I was like, I can't carry out with the the, the, the treatment, treatment because, yeah. and I explained why, and she was like, what are you on about? I don't have nits, and I'm like. Like, I didn't know if I should just get the mirror and show her and continue arguing. I was a bit like, uh, Daksha, <laughs> <laughs> just, just come over here. <laughs> I didn't know what to pew, do. Pew, 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 pew. Daksha would, like, would have been like straight in there like, yes, yeah, sorry, no. Yeah, but she was, she was 
not arguing, but she was like, I don't know what you're talking about. I don't have nits. What is that? But sometimes I think, do they actually, they know that they have got it, but they're just trying to like... But if but I'm some telling can, you... Yeah, but some people as well get embarrassed regardless. But I'm thinking to myself, well, then why would you bother to go in there if you no, know? She was completely like, what are you even talking about? Like she was clueless. And I, I felt like... Maybe like she thinks that's normal what's going in her hair, maybe. They were doing tricks. They were jumping. They were going like this. Juggling in her hair. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> oh, I'm, I'm so sorry, miss, but no can do. <laughs> I don't know. I don't, no, Joe, you know I've never had that. I've never had anyone that had a niche that I've come into. Sure, I've like had it a few times. Really? But students are just like, they don't even want to get near them. Because they'd say, b before I've seen it, the client's on the bed, and then the student is just like... I'm sorry, I'm gobsmacked that actually you've seen, like... And, they, and they're just trying to indicate, like, something's wrong, and I was like... <laughs> what? <laughs> and, oh... Oh well. <laughs> yeah, I was like, what do I do? I don't want to touch her. And I was like, it's not a massive thing. Like, calm down. It's fine. It's not a massive thing, but also if you've got it, it's, I'm not going to lie to you. They jump on you, yeah, I know. That's what I mean. And not even that is, do you know how hard it is? I remember my poor neck over the bathroom, my mom's combing it out. I felt like saying, like, no wonder I've got no hair now. <laughs> well, my hair just fell out from all those stupid performing knits in my scalp so you you were the one reporting the knit problem in preschool yep did it all start from you nope no there was a lot of it going around anyway isn't it but yeah they always knit had to just woman. like yeah do 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 the worst contraindication you've seen oh oh it was so bad i felt bad for the woman because she Mm, Jesus, what does she have? I don't think I have, you know, actually. I've been, like, here for quite a while. I don't think I... The only thing I ever... I think it might have been back when I was doing massage, maybe ringworm. Oh, no, no. I'm not but thinking... I don't I'm think... not... No, nah, I'm not thinking about, like, skin diseases only. I'm thinking, like, contraindications in general. Like, I, I, I can't even touch you at all. Because it was... Well, it, it was a mature lady. It was an old lady. And she was getting... Fillers, I think, or like lips or contour package, whatever it was, but it was like injectables, definitely. And um, like before we would start the treatment, I'm like, oh, medical history, any medication, blah, blah, blah. I'm just checking her form. Yeah. And she, she just started saying, oh, I've got like two different types of cancer at the same time. And she's on oh, chemo okay. at the same time okay, for a lifetime, on medication for a lifetime, on steroids for a lifetime. Jeez. And then I looked at her and we're trying to, kind of trying to gauge like how long would it take her to, to heal? heal? Does she bruise? Does she bleed? And she mm. was like, well, if I do this, I bruise. I'm, I'm, I'm sorry, but I literally, I can't even touch you mm. at all. Yeah. And not even the facial, because she had like a, a heart thing going on as well. I'm like, I literally oh, can't even gosh. touch you. And it was, it was very bad, because she was like, oh, this was like, like a pick me up kind of thing. That's why I was doing it in the first mm. place. I'm like, I, I literally, nothing, nothing I can do. Mm. Um, it's sad though when it's like those ones. The thing yeah. is, that, the thing is, like especially with like where we are now, it's very difficult. There's not much that we can do. But I remembered back, back. I mean, when I first started here, um, and there was a lady that had been told that she cancer as well, but there was nothing else <clears throat> that they could do now, and all she literally wanted was just. Um, a 30 minute like massage or whatever it was just to be able to like just forget about it for a second mm. and I think you know there's always that whole thing behind it of like oh my god no one can touch them like stay away like you know be careful and this and that and it's kind of like 
no, it's not all like that. Like all she literally wants, listen, there's nothing else that we can do now. It's it's happened, yeah, it's yeah, happened. Yeah. So why can't you just do a 30 minute massage just to let her relax for a little bit? Obviously ease up on the pressure, but I think the therapist, bless her, was just kind of like, no, 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 we've been told no, no, no. And then the lady just started boiling her eyes out crying. So then the girl How is that there, stopping you? Don't. I get it if it's something to do with the skin. Yeah. But it's usually like specific yeah. areas. Yeah. But like I think it's massage, back then, like on. everyone was always kind of like, you know, we need to be very cautious of it just in case. But I was thinking, listen, you've been told that there's nothing else that they can do now. So you're not going to make it any worse than what it already is. And it's just a massage. But it's not like, anything external. This, that's I think what that's what I mean. So I said to her, listen, you know, let me do this for you, please kind of thing and then she was like thank you like so much and you could tell like after something like that's happened it's very hard to like win that person back because it's kind of like you could either put them off to the point where like well no I don't feel comfortable now kind of thing I just want to yeah, go yeah. but luckily she didn't and she was like thank you so much like for doing that for me and then also there's something like inside you that feels good because you're kind of like when you've got clients coming to you as well is you never know what's going on in their life. You don't know what they're going through, what things are. And, yeah. you know, you've got to be so, like, sensitive and, like, know, like, who you're talking to. And some people you may think, oh, my God, they look well wacko. But you don't know if there's anything else that's, you know, kind of, like, underlying there. You know, like, we spoke about, like, mental health and things like that. So I think it's, yeah, I think it's very... Um, difficult sometimes people just get a bit too scared and I kind of like no, no I can't touch it or da, 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 no 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 or like what do I do and then you're kind of like listen you may not have that much experience literally I'll do it or vice versa one of us will do it or no, that's why I would like anytime I teach like any course really when we when it comes to contraindications we would always would always say like cancer and diabetes and hemophilia and, and whatnot yeah, pregnancy and all but that. then yeah, pregnancy is probably the only thing I'm like, a uh, big no. No. Yeah. Don't touch them ever. Yeah. It doesn't matter when, just don't touch them. Yeah. Um, but other things, it's like, I'm like, well, think about it. Yeah. Like, just, just because, well, she can come to me and say, oh, I've had diabetes for 20 years. I'm on insulin. It's controlled. I get checked. I've got diabetes, but because I'm controlling it with medication, I'm perfectly healthy, mm. right? So I'm like, okay, but that being said, what, what is stopping you? Yeah. I'm like, oh, but it says on the contraindication it's got diabetes. Yeah, no, the everyone thing, just gets think, so weary and so think. cautious. Like you said, obviously, it's different if it's like microneedling and things like that because the healing process can take longer to stop the but bleeding then, But then you always ask stuff, the question, if, if you cut yourself, how, how long, long does, does it take, take to heal? Yeah. And she's like, oh, it heals in a day. Fine. No problem. Yeah. And the person would know mm. anyway. Yeah. But yeah, pregnancy. Oh, I don't. I don't touch them. Mm -mm. Sorry. Come back to me in like ten months. Yeah. After you finish breastfeeding or whatever it is that you. Yeah, 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 no, no, no. Yeah, and we do get pregnant women. Bless them. But nothing we can do. Sorry. No. Definitely not something that you can teach someone, mm -hmm. but I would always say one way guaranteed to win their trust is just know your shit. Yeah. That's and just it. be honest as well. Yeah. They would rather you be honest than you just than them think that you're just like money money grabbing and just trying to take their money for the sake of it. Like if there's something that you look and you think, wow, like there's no way I'm putting more filler into those lips because they look like they're they're ready to pop, mm. like then no that's it or if you think that again contraindications or just whatever it is in general it's either but to be fair I think for us anyway we can kind of tell with students if you've kind of got it or if you don't have it or just like working with them a little bit more closely but again I Sometimes feel like it's something natural. that but I think it comes with time anyway the more they work with clients the more it will come natural and also I think I would say to them put yourself in that person's perspective so if you were to ever have a treatment done or you're going to someone else, because I'm sure, obviously, before you ever even started this industry, you've gone and had other treatments done. So how would you want to be treated is the exact same how yeah. someone else would want to be kind of like treated. So kind of, you know, yes, but we I can do, give I examples like... and stuff, but it's kind of like then they, they're going to do whatever they're going to do anyway when they go out of here. So it's like you either take it on board or these are the things that I found that work. Um, you guys can use it or 
you know, I think people just sometimes know. I think for us, we're just very intuitive. You can kind of just get that feeling. Mm. Well, I, I find out when it comes to students, it's it's all dependent on them, really. But again, it's not something that you can just teach them and say, oh, mm -mm. step one, step two, step three, because no. it doesn't really work that way. Sometimes I get, like, on the first day of their training, they get a client and it's like, besties. I'm like, do you know each other? And they're like, no, we just met two minutes ago. Oh my God. Yeah, well, they're from the same oh, okay. country, whatever. They're yeah. I'm thinking, like, wait a minute, when okay. did she start speaking French? Or like, you know, and you're kind of like, where the hell's that come? She goes, oh yeah, she's from um, the same village as me, or I'm French, or, you know, yeah, but they just, the they same just language. Got that like very yeah. easygoing personality, can talk to anyone. Yeah. They like being in that yeah. close touch with people. But then I get students, before they get their client, they come to me and say, uh, what's just, the what's the protocol? What should I say to my client? Yeah, I'm like well, I don't know what the protocol is because I don't know what your client's gonna say. Yeah, and I'm like, but so then I wouldn't say anything. I'm like, okay, make it awkward then. Yeah. Oh, but I don't want it to be awkward. What should yeah. I say? Should I keep on talking to her all the time? I'm but like, I think that comes. Oh, that'll be awkward as well. Yeah, but that comes with confidence as well. Like some students, you come in, they're very like, they're very shy. They're very like, you can just tell they've decided no, I, to sit I, right I at the back that. of the room. And I'm like, yeah, no, you're gonna be. That was you. Yeah. That was you. That was me. Yeah. Actually, I won't be at the back. I'll probably be hiding behind someone. To be fair. Uh, can I go to the toilet real quick? You can talk. Laser. <laughs> oh, I don't want to do laser now, no. Well, oh, come on. It's been years. I've only cried uh, once. Are you serious? And it was for a reason as well. Yeah, no, that was bad. Yeah. That yeah. was bad. <laughs> that was bad. You didn't see it. No. I just heard about it and I could only imagine how bad it was. But yeah, I think it's just one of those things I think... Yes, obviously we go in detail about consent forms and what to be looking out for. And obviously, you know, always introduce yeah. yourself. You know, I'm a kid, I'll be a therapist for today. You know what, that's, Have you that's had one thing I cannot, cannot learn to do, introduce myself. Really? Yeah, I never do that. I don't know why. We'll just say, hi, Sarah, do you follow me through? I never say my name. Like, I would, I would always, like, start up a chat. Yeah, um, but it's different though, because I wouldn't say, oh, hi, I'm a cabrio therapist. I'd just be like, hi, would you like to follow me through? But when it's a student, the, the client might be a bit like, so what's your name? Or like, I didn't get your name. Or some clients are so funny, they come and go, oh, hi, it's so nice to meet And they shake their hands. I'm just <laughs> like, oh, you're the cutest thing ever. Or some people that, like you said, have a proper chit chat. And I'm like, wow, do you know each other outside of this? Yeah, or I Sometimes know. they are, sometimes they're family, friends. Or I have actually had it where... They've either, they're like, wait a minute, I swear I know you. Oh yeah, I used to go out with your um, uncle. I used to go out with like your, like, yeah, f brother's cousin Whoa, or whatever it was. And I was drama. like, oh, I was like, fill me in. I'm joking. <laughs> but yeah, I think sometimes you do get that because you're kind of like, what? And after they're just like, yeah, we know like family, friends or like. We, Don't get we me wrong. Sometimes, sometimes I see the student and I see the client. I'm like, oh. This is so awkward. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but sometimes as well, I think us as um, teachers as well, we're kind of like, hey, we need to step in now. No, like yeah, sometimes yeah, yeah, yeah. I come to a consultation, but they've done the consultation, but they're just like, so now we're going to do the cleansing and then we're going to do the eye. Just sure, shut up. I didn't tell you to do that. I didn't tell you to start going through a protocol. Like, we're not like doing we're not we're not like in football we're like hello and to the left hand side is passing it to Romans and then they're on the right hand side like Goal! Goal! <laughs> yeah it's like what the hell it's like no just say have you had the treatment done before yes when was the last time you the had thing it with done? That is what's your main concerns fine get on the bed do you have any allergies speak. oh my god but, but the thing with that is uh i don't know why they just get in their head like i'm gonna do this to you <laughs> Mm. <laughs> Are you going to be able to say it now? Or are you just going to keep laughing? <laughs> what are you going to say? I'm going to do this. And now I'm going to do this. Yeah, I'm Next like... I'm going to do this. I'm like, no one cares. <laughs> I'm like, just tell them oh. this going to feel like a real sensation in their ear. Don't tell them. Uh, then we're going to do a lovely massage so with I've got the like SOS two pumps. mask. 
I've got about two more <laughs> Of the soothing milk cleanse is fantastic, great for the mature clients, anyone that's got sensitive yeah, it's skin. Like, so <laughs> I can't. And then we're gonna now move on to the eye lip cleanse. Do you know what? We can skip that part because you don't have any eye makeup on or any lip products. <coughs> <laughs> but they uh, always go through like step by step and then yeah, they really like get into it and explain it. The clients just like Yeah, they're like <laughs> they're just like, yeah, yeah, and they're looking at me, they're like, <laughs> help. <laughs> I'm like, yeah, yeah, it's fine. She's had the treatment done before. It's fine. Oh. Yeah, yeah, no, no, no. I'm going to do this. You told me to go for a consultation. And next I'm going to do this. <laughs> yeah. She's like, yeah, but you told me to go for a I didn't tell you to tell your whole life story. You're going to say what you're going to have for dinner later as well. Like, oh. just come on. Oh, my God. No, sometimes, like, while you're doing it, the client will be like, oh, what's this? Okay, time to shine. Yeah. You can talk. Yeah. But then if the client's, like, on the bed, not saying a word... Whatever. <laughs> you can tell it's like, yeah, yeah, I'm gonna punch you. Yeah. <laughs> so I'm about to do this to you. <laughs> yeah, just shut up and get on with it now, please. It's an hour. You're going into my time now. Because literally, some in. of them to just come in to, to have a nap, really. Yeah, just to relax. I don't want to have a whole proper conversation, like get to know your whole life story. Oh. And sometimes I'm like, that's enough. That's okay. That's fine. Yeah, that's enough. Yeah. She, she's gone asleep. Okay. Yeah. And then I move on. Or class. sometimes you know you're trying to talk to a student because she got the best. They just like, no, 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 don't do that. And then, then the other one, the bigger. Oh, now I'm not talking to you. I'm talking to you. So you're doing like this whole thing while the music's like, do, 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 do. No, 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 you. No, no, no. The one in the back. Do you know? Do you know what sometimes no, 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 you're freaks fine. me yeah, up? Yeah, yeah. And then it's like, uh, am I fine? I'm you're fine. No, 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 I'm not talking to you. I'm just like, I'm talking to you. Um. Ah, oh, let me give you an example. I can't. Like, take this as an example, right? Let's say the client's on the bed and the student's doing the treatment, whatever. Mm -hmm. And obviously, I just go over to the bed and I can, I can say anything. But let's say uh, she's doing the scrubber or whatever. Mm -hmm. And I'll be like, um, uh, just put more water on it or just like... No, I would say something like... Like quizzing just, them? No, no, no. Or? I would say, for example, oh, just, just lift it up slightly. And the client's like, or I would go and say, so the client that, thinks that they're talking to you. Yeah, or I would go to the student, and while the student is doing the treatment, I'm like, oh, that, that's really good, that's really good. And the client's like, thank you. I'm like, what? <laughs> what? <laughs> okay. <laughs> yeah. Or says, so can, can I put, can you lift up your head? And they're just like digging it into the cushion. I'm like, no, can you lift your head up? And sometimes you've got to show like, can you stretch your lip? Uh. <laughs> you know, you've got the face right like, uh. <laughs> do, you <know> <laughs> <what>? <laughs> do you know what my favorite one is? Uh. When, when the student goes, just put your tongue here for me. And they're like, <laughs> <laughs> what's that? <laughs> <laughs> what's that? <laughs> They are, and I'm a bit like, am I saying it wrong? Or like, can you lift up your head? And they, I'm like, no, lift your head up. And then, then they're coming up, and then sooner or later, their head now is touching the floor, and you're like, no, I said, can you lift your head up? So can you lift it up? So what I can't see, and then you take off the gun, can you lift your head up? <laughs> oh, I'm so sorry. Oh, Rocco always laughs at me for this, because I never know how to do it properly. I'm like, what part is lift so your hard about lift your head up? Like, lift it up. Put your head down. Well, I'm just gonna put the hairband on you now. Okay, and just da da da. No, can you lift up your head? Yeah, okay, then they push this up. And I'm just like, <laughs> okay. At this point, you're not gonna have no hair in there. You're gonna have nothing on your head. You're just gonna be bare. And if there's product that goes into your hair, it's not my fault at the end of the day. <laughs> it's gonna be bare. Yeah. <laughs> oh, no, some clients crack me up. Okay, yeah. Do you know what's really funny as well? Whenever you do like a, a demo or whatever, obviously you've been talking through it mm -hmm. and you've got like a whole class, everyone's like listening, everyone's yeah, filming, yeah. blah, blah, blah. So a lot of the times I'm not really, well, I'm not really talking to the client. I'm talking to everyone else and yeah, explaining. Yeah. But a lot of the times I'll be doing something and the client's like, I'm like, do you agree as well? I'm like, yeah, that sounds very good. You're really good. I'm like, okay, what? What do you know about uh, cells? Like, I don't know. I'm like, yeah, it's going good. Yeah. <laughs> do you ever get men as clients with the students? 
And what's your experience with that? Mm, I don't think I have. I've had it done to me once. Uh-uh. And the worst of what? it was the guy. You had what done? I was doing, I was removing a skin tag off of a guy's um, like scalp basically because he was like a baldy. And um, he came in and was just like, oh yeah, da, da, da. so you know, where, where about should you go out? And I'm like, oh, like, you know, wherever kind of thing, like central London, Camden. Oh, do you go Camden? Da, 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 da. I said, oh yeah, he goes, oh, what type of place? Oh, I've been to the, I can't remember, the one that's inside the stables, the like Latin y one. No, 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 you could never have gone there. No, no, no. And I was like, yeah, I have. Why? And he's like, no, nah, because I'm sure that if he was there, I would have definitely have seen you then. I probably would have asked you to dance. And I was like, oh, this is awkward. The worst of it was, a week later, his girlfriend comes in. They've got a child. And I'm like, and he goes to me, oh, you can easily just take my um, contact number off through the system. And I'm thinking, no. I was like, I'm in a relationship. And secondly, even if I wasn't, that's so unprofessional. No. Like, I don't care if you're the most Wait, amazing what's happening? guy I, ever. I, all like, I asked was literally, do you ever get men as clients? I didn't, <laughs> I didn't see that coming. <laughs> it's happened to me, okay? Yeah, yeah. No, yeah, that was just like, yeah. It, I was just like, mm. she's like, oh, yeah, um... My uh, boyfriend came in um, last week, um, someone removed his, and I was like, is it so-and-so? And she's like, yeah. And I was like, ha, 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 okay. Oh, well, oh. if only you knew what your partner was up to then, but I wasn't going to get involved in it. Um, but no, I don't think I ever have, actually. I think I've had it before where there's been some male clients that have come in and you see all the students get giddy, giddy like, ah. <laughs> and I'm like, oh, no, <laughs> no, no, please. Like guys come quite muscular, quite, you know. <laughs> and I'm just like, <laughs> oh, here we go. It's going to be a long hour now. Kind of I thing. But no, I haven't. Have you? Uh, what? Have you ever had that? Where like a student has, no, did you say a client's moved to a student? No, I just asked about male clients in general. Moving to a student? Have you? Why did you say that then? Clearly, you must have then. Mm, not really, but there was a funny story. I'll tell you in a little bit. <laughs> um, but no, what I was going to say was, there was a time where, well, I was teaching the level five, right? And like the last client, it, it, it was a male and he was running like quite late. And I said to one of those students, she was like, oh, I have to go early. I've got like arrangements with this, 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 like I have to go. And I'm like, I went to the student and I was like, oh, like, I'm, I'm so sorry. Do you mind doing the client? Yeah. He's running a bit late, but um, do you mind? It's a male. She was like, oh, I have to be somewhere. Is he good looking? And I was like, yeah, he's hot. Okay, that's fine. <laughs> <laughs> Plans. Hello, I can't come out later, okay? <laughs> Can you pick up my kids, please? I'm busy. <laughs> I might have a date later. <laughs> no, I'll tell you, I'll tell you. Uh, it hasn't really happened to me. Like, no one's really asked me either or anything. Um, but do you know what? For a long time, I used to wear, like, a ring on my... Um, a married finger kind of thing. Yeah. yeah. And I was like, oh my God, you're so young to be married. And I was like, yeah. <laughs> mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Um, but yeah, that's why no one would really ask me anything. And I'm not very like approachable anyway. I'm just like, oh. <sighs> meh. And uh, there, was, there was this guy. I was I was like doing his his treatment or whatever. We we were just like chatting. We were we were talking. It was just like books and films and blah 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 mm-hmm. and whatever. And throughout the conversation, like it wasn't flirty or yeah. anything at all. Mm-hmm. Like it it wasn't going in that way. And um, throughout the conversation, I was like, oh, what about your partner? Blah blah blah. So he was just telling me, oh, my partner James, he does this this this. And I was like, oh, okay, yeah, that's cool, blah, blah, blah. So we're talking. And he keeps on coming back and back and back for treatment. So now we're just like, we're very friendly. We're very chatty. We just yeah, get yeah. on really well. And yeah. I'm just like, this person is not interested in me. I'm not interested in him. Yeah. And we're not ever going to be for obvious reasons. Yeah. 
But we're just like very friendly. Yeah. And he's a good client of mine. Anyway, I was like, I've just finished his treatment and we've known each other for like a couple of months and we were just like chatting and it's giggly, blah, blah, blah. And sometimes he, he says stuff like, oh, you're looking nice. Ooh, I like them jeans. Or like, what have you done to your lips? I'm like, oh, your hair is amazing today. Who is it? I want to know now. Can oh, you bleep you this know out? Him. Oh, you know him. You know him. Like, we're very friendly. Um, but anyway, I was like taking his payment or whatever. And um, we were just like chatting. But when, when we're talking, it was just like, it sounds flirty, mm -hmm. but then it's not. Because yeah, yeah. both of us know that it's not. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Alex walks in, like, all alpha male, and goes, do you need a hand here? Looking at him, and I was like, do you know who he is? I know, I <laughs> Who is it? I want to know. Can you just bleep out the name? Bleep out and the I name. <laughs> bleep out the name. <laughs> you, oh, who is he? Oh, you seen him yeah, yesterday. Yeah, I'm, I'm part of this. He <laughs> walks in, and I was just like, hang on a sec, is this... Is this okay? Like, what's what's happening? So I, I, I literally just walked into Rocco and I'm just like, are you okay? And she's like, yeah, I'm fine, it's okay. Well, I was like, like bro. Fine. What? What? I'm looking out for everyone's safety. Oh, <laughs> no, but it was, huh? I'll tell you later. You know who it is anyway, Jesus Christ. But it was so If funny. it's who I think it is, what? No, the whole situation was like a, uh, Alex, bro. <laughs> No. Because <laughs> you know what I'm like as well. I'm not like flirty or anything. No one is flirty with me. No, you're just very blunt to the point. Yeah, like, yeah I'm just like. <sighs> yeah. But no, when you're you with clients, you know. but when you're with clients, kind of thing, you're like like laughing, joking, kind of thing. Like especially yeah. next week, you're just like hi, kind of thing. Like hey, girl, I haven't seen you in a while. And you need to like yeah. begin with like what's going I'm, on. Yeah, yeah. I'm, yeah. I'm, I'm the same way with him. He just happens to be a male. That's it. But then he was like, oh, I'm here to save the day. I'll protect the girls. I was like, Alex, no, just don't. I think I know who it is now. I'm shocked. You saw him yesterday. <laughs> but he was proper like, is everything okay here? I'm like, bro, just go away. <laughs> I don't even talk like that. That's what you were like with the, the fucking shoulders back. I have a tight shoulders. Is everything yeah, okay? It's like, if, if they don't I... talk about Alex's shorts. <sighs> <laughs> no, 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 no. Do you know what? There was one time he got so offended, and I knew you got offended. When, um, um, do you remember the, the big hydrogen machines? So there oh, was yeah. one time that the machine came and I had to like bring it up upstairs myself, <laughs> up the stairs. And I was like, oh my God, that weighs a ton. I was struggling. Yeah. And then he picked up the machine and I was like, oh, this is not too bad. And I was like, oh, you're strong for a skinny guy. <laughs> His face dropped. <laughs> <laughs> I thought so it I, was a massive compliment. But you know, I'm not going to lie. I said, I said, I was thinking, no, Alex, I can't bring this machine up. I kid you not. I swear. He was like, Tarza, picked it with one hand. <laughs> and went, it's not that hard. And I thought, sorry, but I don't need to be rude. I don't need to be like, slim. You look at me. I should be able to like carry it myself. Like. Yeah. Anyway, his face is just sank. Next day, Lloyd comes to me, he's like, what did you say to Alex? What did you say to Alex? I'm like, oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> it went round like Chinese whispers. <laughs> yeah, literally. Because I said it and I was like, it was a compliment. <laughs> was yeah, we like, tried to say, go oh my god, he's so offended. He's gone back to the gym now. <laughs> <laughs> Pumping two hydrogen machines. <laughs> <laughs> And then what happens, right? The machines come, get delivered, and then once I bring them back, he's like, oh, hello there, how are you? I was like, yeah, thanks, Alex, really. <laughs> do, you need, uh, do you need help here? Is everything okay? <laughs> yeah, I think so. It's fine. <laughs> Just throw water yourselves, like. <gasps> Just feel them bad boys. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, that's funny.
funny. Oh, God. Oh, my cheeks hurt. I still can't go over that other thing. And then we thought that you were whispering and then we didn't realize we <laughs> Whoops. <laughs> Gossip girls. <laughs> oh, that's hilarious. I'm telling you, I was, I didn't know how to react. Don't embarrass yourself. What is wrong with you? Really? Oh, my God. <laughs> Are you okay? <laughs> Do you need some insurance? <laughs> I know with Alex, Alex goes, I call him up, he can key tell it's me that's calling up because, hello, Alexander Patanov. I'm like, Alex, I called you up. You know who it is because my name's saved in your phone, so you know it's going to be Michaela calling. And he's like, hello, Alexander. And I'm like, hello, Michaela. Piss off, mate. <laughs> Hello, Alexandra, it's Michaela. No one wants to know. <laughs> you don't do that anymore, actually, to be fair. He doesn't do that anymore. But if he's like, hello, Alexandra. Yeah. <laughs> I'm going to think of, of a few more. Oh, I'll think of a few more. No, I do have a few, actually. Quite a few. I don't think I have any of you, Alex, to be fair. If anything, it's probably me pestering Alex. Hi, Alex. Us. Oh, hi, so Alex. I'm sorry, the, the card machine's not working. Um, hi, Alex. The internet connection's not working. Hi, the printer's not working. He comes in and it just automatically works. I'm just like, nah, there's someone playing games in this place. But no, it, it always happens. I said to him, how many times he's going to come in here and what's just going to work? What was the issue? Could I have just fixed it? You just had to plug it in or um, you just had to put the I, password in I again. I asked to. I've seen that it was unplugged. I said, does that need to be plugged in? You said, no, it's wireless. I didn't think you meant the power cable. What did you think I meant? What do you mean? <laughs> the, the Wi-Fi. Well, then people are... You to plug it into the power. I did... I don't know that. I've never worked with this. That, that's why I was trying to confirm that with you. But then... Oh, no. Just I take the blame. An, in, I take the blame. Right, guys, let's break this up now. <coughs> Uh, I shall get HR involved. <laughs> well, so some, sometimes it's really funny because, uh, well, you know, I'm like very sarcastic, but sometimes I, I say stuff with a very serious face. Yeah. And Alex is like, um, uh, Michaela, can you please step out of the room and close the door? Um, Rocco, I can talk to you in private. I was like, mate, just, nah, <laughs> I'm messing with you. <laughs> it's like, really? I'm like, uh, yeah, but I'll, I'll just come up with like Yeah, you do it all the time, to be fair. You'd be ever. like, um, like I would, I would, I would go to him me. and I'm like, I haven't been happy. No, it's a, it's a lot of work. I, I'm just not happy. I'm going. That's me, I'm going. He's like, okay, close the door. I'm like, mate, fuck off. But he gets proper stress. <laughs> I can see like sweat and dripping. To be fair, Lloyd used to be the serious of like, oh Lloyd, I need to have a word with you when you when you come in and he's like, Oh great, what's it now? Oh great. Like, what what have I done now? And I'm like, you don't even know what it is yet. Like Oh my god, and he one comes time, in after that tell oh me my god, like, is one that time it? And I, was I like, had yeah. him stressing so much. I was literally I texted him, but it was like on my days off. So whenever I test it, I'm like, oh, I'm going to see you in like three days time or whatever. Mm -hmm. And I was like, um, or oh, whenever you're back, I just need to have a chat with you. He was like, okay, I'll see you at 3 p.m. I'm like, okay. okay. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, and then I walk into the room and he was like, okay, have a seat, just, just close the door. I'm like, okay, but I'm keeping on like a serious face, right? Serious. He was like, what do you want to talk about? Um, is everything okay? I'm like, yeah, yeah. Um, I just need your opinion on, on something. So, um, what do you think of Avengers Endgame? <laughs> and he was like, are you for real? And I'm like, yeah. He was like, I was fucking stressing for three days. And I'm like, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's true. Every time he takes these, he's like, oh God, what's happened now? What have I done? And I was like, no, I just need to just speak to you when you're in on a Thursday. But the reason why I've said it is just because I know I'll end up forgetting. He's like, right, Kella, come on, let's get this over and done with now. What's the matter? And I'm like, Oh, so basically, you know the VLE, you know the um, exam, we just need to change one of those, we don't do don't play anymore, we just need to change, he's like, are you joking me, Keller? And I'm thinking, yeah, I'm being serious, why, what's the matter? And he's like, I thought you could tell me you were going to leave, I thought you were going to tell me something else, like you're not happy, or I pissed you off, and I was like, no, Lloyd, like... What did you think I was going to tell you that time? I swear to God, I thought it was like something apocalyptic. Like, no what? idea. <laughs> 
because she's just so like, she's just so to the point as well. She's just kind of like, yeah, I need to have a word with you. And I'm like, okay, cool. Well, I said she'll text me. I'll text her, be like, I need to have a word with you. Oh, don't leave me hanging now. We'll sit about, like, kind of thing. And then she calls me like, hello, what's going on? But no, on? you're literally like, I need to tell you something next week. I'm like, what? <laughs> <laughs> no. Whoa, what's happening? What is it you have to tell me? I'm like, <clears throat> so basically, and it's like, Nothing like major. Stupid, yeah, no. yeah. But I'm like, I had to wait. A but I week don't know. What, but I don't know why people get so like thing. But to be fair, I'm the same as well. I'd be like, no, nah, what is it now? You're like, I need to speak to you at end of day, and I'm like, oh great. What is it about? What is Every it about? time it's my day off, there's always something happening. What's going on? And then you're just like, <laughs> oh no, basically the car she wasn't working. I'm like, so what would you call me up for? You call up Alex. <laughs> you didn't call up Alex, and you got. Ah <laughs> oh, well, oh. yes. I think that's... That's about it. Yep. I think so. Yep. So, guys, don't forget to like, subscribe, subscribe, <laughs> subscribe, subscribe, and we'll see you next week. <laughs> Bye. Bye. <laughs> Bye. <laughs>